there's a tremendous amount of evidence that the children in our schools today are under a lot of stress. Whether you're talking about inner city school children who come to school through violent neighborhoods, or more affluent school children who are under academic stress, social pressures, 70% of distressed children are not getting the mental health care that they need. The bottom line is a stressed child cannot learn. When we talk about stress, what we're talking about is, is really th things in life that, that trigger the fight or flight response. And traumatic stress is stuff that's overwhelming. It, it, it's overwhelming events like accidents, or in many cases, the kids we see, kids who are abused, kids who've spent time in orphanages where they're neglected, and life gave them more than their nervous system could handle. Say children are living in a very dangerous neighborhood. They may see violence on the way to school and on the way home day after day. They become terrified. Even though they're in the safety of the school, the effects of the violence that they've just seen lingers and prevents them from focusing and attending to their schoolwork because they're so stressed and anxious. After Katrina, the Hurricane Katrina, many of the families were relocated. And about a year later, they started talking about the difficulties in the schools, that a lot of these children were having behavior problems, that there was violence. And what they didn't recognize is that these children were experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder. The number one priority for kids in school is they have to feel safe. Because if they don't feel safe, the parts of their brain that are, that, that are protecting them will, will, will be constantly working and will shut down the parts of the brain that are supposed to focus and supposed to think and supposed to learn at a higher level. What we know about transcendental meditation is that it reduces stress, not just because we see it, but because we can measure it. The brain waves in the EEG change. There is more alpha wave strength, which means a more calming effect. And there's more coherence, which means that the brain is working more efficiently. Children respond very well to transcendental meditation. That it provides a mechanism for them to be able to manage themselves, to be able to deal with the stress, to be able to be clearer thinking. They report that they can learn better. They can organize information better when their stress level is lower. What TM can do is to settle down the nervous system, to de-stress these children so that their minds are now open and available to being educated and to learning. I'm very confident that we'll see kids increasingly feel safe in their own skin, feel safe in the classroom, and use their attention and their energy and their intelligence to their own benefit.